Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to this dang gone crazy house. Isn't that background very beautiful? Wait till we get this camera straight. It's really gonna look good, y'all. I'm just trying to tell you. And when we get this studio set up the way we like to have it, thanks to you all, um, it's gonna be really nice. I'm I'm proud of some of the things that we work in them. Um, but by the way, I got to talk for, you know, I got a few more minutes before the algorithms catch me. So I'd like to know, um, are y'all missing the snowstorm? Because we've had, we finally had it here. We finally got a cover in the snow here in Milwaukee. Um, and it's crazy because um, the snow, the sleet, the hail, Nothing is stopping these people from hurting one another, which is not good. Um, I wish there was a way, you know, I just wish there was a way. But again, when you brought up in a narcissistic society that doesn't recognize this narcissism, and I mean it on a, that it's off the Richter scale. Because, like I always say, narcissism is on a continuum, you know, and I hate to use that word because it's so overused. But these personality disorders, they run on a bar. So if you was to set up a bar, um, zero meaning zero right here, and then you go to the right, that's the positive line. And then all on my left would be the negative, Right. So this stuff is is like on a continuum, you know, and some people's individual narcissism may flutter around zero, one, or two, three, because you have to have some narcissism or you couldn't survive, correct? But Lord have mercy when you got a whole society that's operating off a of 10. Here we go. You are in trouble, okay? When you got a society that is governed off um, all these crazy institutions um, that reflect, uh, again, uh, personality disorders. I mean, the institutions themselves, from the uh, uh, judicial system, police departments, all of them. You got your flying monkeys. You got it's the whole scenario, right? It's a mobile. You touch one, everything damn move. So this particular video, you know, you can't talk about the jab without um, YouTube flagging your videos down and 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 just really, really, um, you know, giving you a hard time. So I thought I'd play a clip. Because on Patreon, we're talking about the, um, uh, 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 what is it, the HSSN 2000? We're talking about the Trilateral Commission. And we're talking about things that um, we understand that those of us who may not even have a medical reason that they don't want to jab. There are actual physical reasons that are logically based in the behavior of this government why people don't want to get the damn jab either. And they don't want to talk about that. So I thought I, I found a clip today that I would love to play. And this is, um, you know, um, somebody I don't like to, to in particularly Jim Jordan. Um and a bunch of them in the government, Republicans. Uh, but I'm open-minded. And I want you to hear what these people have to say. Okay? And don't just be a damn sheep led to the damn slaughter without a brain, with a freaking herd mentality. Check this out, family. 
the ruling that the Supreme Court just gave the other day on employee employers of over 100 uh, people across the country. You know, the federal government put in an illegal mandate that every employee had to be vaccinated if the company was over 100 employers. Uh, I don't penalize the company for having that dumped on them. They fought it in the courts. And, and we supported that, by the way. We signed an amicus brief in support of the challenge. And ultimately, the U.S. Supreme Court said you can't do it and threw out Biden's mandate. And so ultimately, let's go after these these edicts that are coming out. I mean, look, you've got some governors still to this day and some mayors that don't want to let go of the power. It's no longer about science to them. It's about government control versus freedom. Look at the states that are opening up, and many of them have much better success records at dealing with COVID than states that are completely shut down. And those states destroyed their businesses. And this shows the failure of Joe Biden's plan from day one on COVID. It's been a one-size-fits-all vaccine-only approach. And then Jim Jordan talked about this. If everybody in the nation was vaccinated, I think Brad Wenstrup mentioned it from the doctor's caucus perspective. If everybody in the nation was vaccinated, there's still variants that are going to come out. Uh, initially, administration officials saying, well, if you're vaccinated, you either can't get it or can't distribute uh, and give uh, COVID to other people. Well, they've turned out that's turned out to be not true. Yet a Supreme Court justice, Sotomayor, uh, infer that it wasn't true. And so the vaccine is one part. I've gotten the vaccine. I encourage others to get it, but clearly not everybody is. It is a medical decision. But this idea that you should fire people because they don't get vaccinated, you should shut down businesses because every person walking in the door isn't vaccinated is lunacy. And it's not reality. It's not rooted in what it's going to take to confront this. If you're confronting it with only one approach when there needs to be a multi-front approach. And he's, look, we're trying to find more healthcare workers right now. You talk to hospital uh, hospital directors all across the country, they can't find enough doctors and nurses to treat people. And Joe Biden is still moving forward with a plan to fire healthcare workers if they're not vaccinated. A year ago, those same people were all being praised as heroes. And by the way, they still are heroes, according to us. But Joe Biden a year ago called him a hero, and today he wants to fire him. They were unvaccinated a year ago, and they were a hero. Why are they not a hero today? We shouldn't be trying to fire people and take away their livelihoods. We should be trying to have a multi-pronged approach to this. Let's get more alternatives. Uh, monoclonal antibodies are a great example. Uh, but this administration has refused on all fronts to advance other alternatives to confront COVID. And again, they still don't have a director of the FDA a year in. And you wonder why we don't have enough emergency use authors. The bigger question we need to ask is, what have they told us that's actually turned out to be right? I mean, Joe Biden said six, eight months ago that he had a federal plan. Joe Biden said there would never be a mandate. Obviously, there has been one. They had to go to all the way to the Supreme Court. Uh, Dr. Fauci said it didn't come from a lab. There was no gain of function. Turns out those looked like they were probably false statements. They told us the vaccinated can't get it. They told us the vaccinated can't transmit it. And they said, oh, no, there's no such thing as natural immunity. So there's seven things they told us that actually turned out not to be accurate. So now we're just supposed to keep taking their word. At some point, just any common sense American says, if you've misled me seven <coughs> different times, there's probably more I'm forgetting about. Maybe we should start questioning the things they're doing. And that's all we're saying. So I, I think that's the, that's the, the key thing that, that the American people see. So what it, um, makes sense to me, people. It makes freaking sense to me. So for all you people that is jumping down Kyrie's back, Everybody that's jumping down Aaron Rodgers' back. Uh, I don't even want to mention Aaron Rodgers. Oh, after God did. Uh, okay, but I did. Sorry. Uh, anyway, and for any and everybody else who has decided not to uh, be poked, um, let's stop being led to the slaughter like blind sheep. Begin to look at other alternatives and look at information that's coming out. Be aware um, when we talk about uh, just what and um, the uh, depopulation policy was all about by uh, Alexander Haig and um, Henry Kissinger. I mean, if we're not willing to even talk about that. So it makes sense to me 
Civil wars are somewhat drawn out ways to reduce population. Okay, the quickest way to reduce population is through famine, like in Africa, or through disease, like the Black Death, all which might occur. Okay, look, this is a memorandum from way back here in 1981 or something. I got uh, 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 the OPA um, in 1975. Uh, who was brought under a reorganized State Department Bureau of Oceans, International Environmental and Scientific Affairs. That's a body that was created by Henry Kissinger, okay, whose plan is to get rid of our asses off this damn planet. They don't want to talk about that. Kissinger initiated both, initiated both groups after discussion with leaders of the Club of Rome during the 1974 population conferences in Budapest and in Rome. Okay, this has been a plan for so long. Of course, we can't discuss this um, in depth. Okay, but this is the stuff we like to talk about uh, on Patreon. And we can get in deep. Um, some of the live streams that we do. Uh, every hot spot in the world corresponds to a population crisis point. Okay. And let me tell you who is also in on this. Zig Big New Brzezinski. <laughs> Y'all got to understand this is a diabolical plan of population control. The global 2000 approach. Oh, y'all don't hear me. The global 2000 report, it was issued in the spring of 1980. It was a culmination of a three-year study directed by the U.S. State Department and the White House Council on Environmental Quality, okay? That's what they say. Okay. However, the inner workings go a lot deeper than that. We are working with other nations bilaterally, building concern for population growth, natural resources, environment, and to our foreign aid programs, and cooperating with our immediate neighbors on common problems, ranging from cleanup of air and water pollution to pres preservation of soils and development of new crops. A statement strongly suggesting that foreign aid henceforth be tied to population control and related measures. Y'all don't want to hear that. But that's just a little bit of it. There's more. Oh, it gets deeper. <laughs> it gets deeper, people. So if you really want to talk about it, let's talk about it. Let's talk about our extermination. Okay. And the Global 2000 Project. Implement it. Way back in 1975, when Jimmy Carter was president. <laughs> Look up the depopulation plan. Okay, by Alexander Haig and Henry Kissinger. Okay, and uh, Global 2000 Report. How about it? Y'all want something to talk about? Talk about that. Instead of running around here and trying to make sure you ain't got, you, you, you're not vaccinated. You're not vaccinated. Not knowing that this media ain't nothing but a propaganda arm for white supremacy. They is going to be the ones that lead you to the slaughter. Okay, them and the damn preachers. Everybody that they got, you better look at Rex. Listen, 84. It's all set up for you and me. So don't come around me talking about this. Have you been vaccinated? And have you, and if I didn't have a medical reason, why I wasn't getting. I sure wouldn't get one knowing I know with all the people that's dropping dead getting the shot. They don't want to talk about that. I 
I'll see you guys in the next video. And those of y'all who, um, like again, want to support us on the channel, like, please hit the like button. That's all you got to do. And if you want to donate to the channel, all the information is in the lower um, department down there. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love you and thank you for your support. And let's wake up to people to what this jab shit is really all about.